Welcome aboard to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show that's also available through YouTube. So welcome to each and every one of you. This is a conversation that's had every Monday, every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We're live on Facebook, right? We're doing a live stream. And then we also make this available on the YouTube. And so again, I do welcome each and every one of you here. Now listen, we do have a mission at hand with this brand, Leadership TKO, which is housed by the iLead Company LLC. And so the mission for Leadership TKO is to empower men and women, network marketers, that could be you, and wealth builders with the ability to win from the inside out, growing your influence, your impact, and your income. So if that's something you want to do, you're tuning into the right live stream. You're tuning into the right podcast, the right YouTube channel for those of you who are on that platform. So listen, I'm elated to be here with you. And if you don't know who I am, perhaps this is your first time tuning in uh, to the show, I will tell you, right? So uh, I've been around on social media for quite some time, right? For many, many years. I'm the creator of the Leadership TKO show. So you may have heard of it on different platforms there. I've been married for well over 18 years to an Army veteran, Keith McKnight, and we have two children, Omari and Key Lacey. So please know we are homeschool parents. We teach our children from home. We teach them about life. We teach them about business and so much more. Uh, we are full-time network marketers and we are wealth building coaches. So if that's something that you take joy in, you find to be very valuable, uh, because you know that you want to leave an inheritance for your children and for your children's children. Well, this is the conversation for you. This is the stream for you. And I want to say good evening to Miss Mary Bush. She's tuning in from San Diego, California. And so glad to have you on board, Miss Bush. So let's keep this thing moving. And listen, we're going to dive into the topic matter tonight, as you can see here on the screen. But before we do that, you all know that I have to make sure God is at the forefront. It doesn't matter if one person is listening in. It doesn't matter if 10 people are. It doesn't matter if 100 people are. God is at the forefront, and we want to make sure that he's glorified through everything that's done, period. And so we're, what we're going to do is we are going to have prayer, and then we're going to get started. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for every ear tuning in, every eye watching this stream watching on Facebook, watching on YouTube, no matter where this is shown. God, I thank you for that man. I thank you for that woman who is plugging on in. And I thank you for giving me the ability to connect with them through social media. And so, Father, I pray that whatever is spoken and that whatever we show on the screen would glorify you. I pray that you would help those listening in to take this information fully digested and that you would guide them to use it how you see fit. And so, Father, we thank you and we honor you for this moment. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So let's go ahead and do it. Today is Network Marketing Monday. That's right. Mondays is dedicated to network marketing. And our topic matter for tonight is boost your credibility. You're going to understand how to leverage social proof in network marketing. That's right. Good evening, Katrina Eccles. How to leverage social proof in network marketing. That's at the heart of what we're going to be focusing in on today. So look, here's the objectives. Take a look at it. Our objectives for this session are to understand the importance of social proof in network marketing. Learn the different types of social proof and how to use them, and discover practical tips for leveraging social proof to build or boost your credibility and growth. So by the time this ends, right, you'll be equipped with strategies to enhance your marketing efforts. And so if you're ready, if you're plugged in, I hope you got a notepad and a pen because you might need it tonight. If you're ready, type ready in the chat. Type ready, Miss Mary. Type ready, Katrina. Type red or whoever is tuning in right now under the sound of my voice. Type ready if you're ready. So let's start off by answering this question right here. What is social proof? What is social proof? 
Okay, what is it exactly, right? Social proof is the influence that the actions and attitudes of other people have on your own behavior. Let me say that one more time for everybody in the back. Social proof is the influence that the actions and attitudes of other people have on your own behavior. So it builds trust. That's the purpose of it. It builds trust and credibility by showing that others have found value in your product or service. So in network marketing, social proof is essential for attracting new prospects and building a strong team. Does everybody understand what I just said? Type in yes if you do understand. It's, it's essential. It's going to help you to be able to attract, to be, be able to bring in new prospects and help you to build a strong team. That's what social proof can do for you. So if you understand, type yes, yes, yes if you do. Okay, type yes, indeed, if you do. Absolutely. Thank you, ladies. So listen, furthermore, why does it matter? I think we kind of answered that question, but why does it matter? Social proof matters because it enhances your trust and, and credibility. It encourages others to follow suit. So if they saw that somebody did it, somebody joined your program, somebody joined your business, they're like, hmm, they may think, hmm, I, I think I need to do it too. I think I want that same treatment. I want I want to feel as though I'm first, right? And so social proof helps to increase the likelihood of converting prospects into customers or team members. So it's a powerful tool for building your network marketing business. Everybody should benefit from social proof. I honestly believe it. Now, what are some different types of social proof that you can truly benefit from? Here are just a couple of different formats that you'll be able to use. Number one, testimonials. Testimonials. So positive feedback from customers, okay, and team members can be very beneficial. Very beneficial, okay? Positive feedback. That's key. And I'm going to show you how that's done. I'm going to give you a, ri a real life example. I may stop, stop my screen really quick and show you exactly how, you know, this has been in, in, incorporated inside of one of my business websites. So I'm going to show you because I'm going to want you to go to the website once the live stream is over or once you finish watching this video, I'm going to want you to go over there and submit your testimonial. Okay. So again, testimonials. They're good because you can get positive feedback from your customers and team members. All right. The second type, reviews. Reviews, online reviews and ratings, everybody. Like, for example, you see sometimes when you go to different platforms like Amazon Prime or even in Netflix, I believe, sometimes you can rate certain movies. You can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can even type in a review. And most companies, if you buy a product from them, they'll ask you, how was your experience? So all of those questions that they ask you is for a review, is for a testimonial of your experience with them. Now, a third type of social proof is case studies. Case studies, that's number three. So these are detailed success stories. So it's a little bit more than just a testimonial. It's a story but it's very intriguing. It's a very intriguing story. Some stories have happy endings, some stories, some case studies, not so. They're like, no, this did not work for me, okay? Then you have what's called social media shares. Social media shares. Now, I know you may be thinking, well, Dr. Lakeisha, what is that? It's like likes or comments and shares on social platforms. So if you have the ability, for example, Sharing this live stream, sharing the video. If you're on Facebook, you might see the arrow or the share button. Click that button, share it on your timeline. That's a share. If you're on YouTube and you see the share button, you can click on the share button and share it with somebody else you know. You can share it via text message or choose any other option that it provides for you. You can comment below. Comment in the comments area on YouTube below this video. 
you can do that. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what resonates. And that's what you can do for your content as well. You can inquire. You can ask people, hey, like this video, like subscribe to the YouTube channel, like things like that helps to build further social proof. And then you have what's called endorsements. Endorsements. Now, these are recommendations from influencers or industry leaders. Okay, people who have a great amount of influence in a particular industry. So each type serves to each of these types, the testimonials, reviews, case studies, social media shares, endorsements, all of these help to reinforce your credibility and also to help attract more prospects to you. So these are the different types. Very important to take note of these. Now, let's talk a bit about gathering testimonials, because again, after this, we're going to detour a bit. I'm going to show you where I have like a testimonial submission area and, um, you know, even just, just letting you know, giving you a real life example of what this looks like. So gathering testimonials. Now, to gather testimonials, listen, you definitely want to ask satisfied customers, not those disgruntled ones, not those customers who were not satisfied because maybe everything didn't work out according to what they saw was supposed to happen, right? Some people may feel like, oh, you know, customers are first. They are, but when a customer is wrong and customers can be wrong, they may not admit it, then sometimes, you know, they don't want to be called on the carpet for being wrong so you don't want testimonials from those customers who are disgruntled, who are not happy with 100% of everything. You want to get a testimonial from someone who is a happy customer, a happy team member. That's where, that's who you want to get those, those testimonials from. So in other words, you're going to get some people who may not post positive things as testimonials. You don't want to use that as social proof. Okay. Now, a second point here, you know, when it comes to gathering testimonials is provide guidelines, you know, offer a simple template. And again, I'm going to show you that in a moment. Or offer a simple template or a guideline to make it easy. Sometimes, you know, people don't know exactly what to say. So you have to kind of give them prompts. Okay, finish this sentence. So I'm going to show you again. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Give me just a moment. And then um, this last one here says showcase diversity, showcase diversity. So you can include a variety of testimonials to appeal to different prospects. So if you, especially if you have video testimonials, because they can be video too, you know, it's good to have testimonials from people from different diverse backgrounds. So maybe testimonials from people in the African-American community, uh, the Asian community, the Hispanic, Latino community. So again, it's great to show that level of diversity uh, when it comes to the testimonials. And so testimonials are a direct endorsement of your business. And listen, it can significantly influence new prospects. It can definitely, definitely do that. So listen, real quick, has Leadership TKO been a blessing to you? Type a yes in the chat. If Leadership TKO has been a blessing to you, I just want to know. Type a yes in the chat if Leadership TKO has been a blessing, all right? Because I want to encourage you to submit a testimonial about your experience of working with either me directly or it can be where you're sharing just about your experience with Leadership TKO in general. Good evening, Brenda Johnson. Welcome to the stream. So I want to encourage you all to submit a testimonial. If you go to iLeadCompany.com forward slash testimonials. So I'm going to type it in the chat, submit a testimonial. That would mean everything to me for those of you who decide to do that, okay? That would mean the world to me. I'm going to actually, again, I'm going to try to type that in the chat. So bear with me. For just a moment, here we go. There we go, right there. I just put it in the chat for all of you here. So let me see if I can pin the comment. So I just put the URL in the chat. I'm going to show you how I how a form was created. I'm going to show you the details of the form. 
And that's this form right here, iLeadCompany.com forward slash testimonials. And then we're going to continue on with our conversation. So I'm going to stop the share real quick. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to share, give me one second. I'm going to share my, my website real quick so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. Okay. So hopefully you can see my screen. Can everybody see my screen? Hopefully you can. Okay. So this is iLeadCompany.com forward slash testimonials. So for those of you who are with me, it says we value your feedback. We'd love to hear about your experience with Dr. Lakeisha McKnight, main representative of the iLead Company. Whether you enjoyed your our leadership TKO live stream, attended an online class, purchased a product, or received coaching from Dr. Lakeisha McKnight, your testimonial can inspire others to join our community and benefit from our services. Good evening, Dr. Patricia Goodman. Welcome, welcome. So this is the form. This is actually a form that has been embedded in the main company's website, right? So you see is asking for the main main information here, which is very important. Now you'll notice that it does not have asterisks. So I encourage you all, if you want to put the asterisks there, meaning that it's required for people to, to complete a certain section, you can do that. It is expected that you need to complete it all. Now I can force people to submit each section, which probably makes sense because here's the deal. If you don't make it require, some people may skip over it. All right. So some people don't know. Let me do this. Let me let me actually submit the whole thing. You want to do that. OK. So look at this. Which service or product did you receive? Coaching, product purchase, online class, leadership, TKO live stream. Right. And so here is the prompts to help you submit your testimonial. I was facing. So what was you facing? Describe the problem or the challenge receive or the challenge that you had before receiving the help. And then because of what? What caused the problem, right? What caused your problem that you had? And then let us know what was the problem causing? So it was causing you to do what? What was going on? And so after you type that inside of the box there, then you move on to the next one that says, since receiving help from Dr. Lakeisha McKnight or the iLead company, what did she help you become aware of or achieve? So if I help you to achieve something, type that in the box, okay? And then the la this next one here says, I was able to what? So what were you able to do as a result of getting the help from me or the iLead company? This next part says, as a result, I achieved what? So what was the outcome? What was the benefit the, of you getting the help from me and the company? What did you benefit from? What was the outcome? And then this last part here, without this help, I would have what? So you need to describe what might have happened without the help. So what would have happened if you hadn't received the help? Like for example, if you were needed help moving money from one crypto wallet to the next crypto wallet, and you got to this part here and it said, without help, this help, you would have, you could have lost your money, your assets. You could have sent your crypto assets to another wallet by mistake. So the, this is what the type of information that you can put in there. And then of course, these other questions here, would you like to make this testimonial public? Meaning we're going to be able to connect with you so that we can put your name there with your testimonial. We can put your picture. We can connect your testimonial to your own personal website, wherever your website is, so that your website can receive more traffic. Okay. And it also says, would you be interested in working with Dr. Lakeisha McKnight one-on-one -on -one in the future? So it's not saying right now. It's not saying even next week. It's saying sometime in the future, would you like to work one-on-one -on -one with me? And then you see here, this next part says, how would you rate our virtual services or virtual events, services, and trainings? So you can give it three stars. You can give it as many stars as you like. Okay. Five stars is the best. Okay, the very best, five stars. 
And then this last part says, are you interested in being contacted to share your testimonial via video or audio? So that's like just your, just your voice. Okay. You can say no, or you can say yes, but you have to submit, you have to click on one or the other. Now, these next two sections here already have a video testimonial prepared. So say, for example, you recorded yourself speaking about the help that you received from me and the ILE company. So you recorded yourself. It's a one to two minute video and you want to submit it. As long as it's an MP4 file, you can click here where it says browse files and you can upload it right here into this file, into this form. Okay. And then it asks, do, do we have a written, do you have, supposed to say, do you have, that'll be fixed. Do you have a written testimonial already on a document? Upload written testimonial. So if you have it on a Word document or a text file, it's already written. All you got to do is click on where it says browse files and go find it on your computer and then attach it here. And then once you've done that, you need to click this box. I authorize you to use this testimonial information if you want to anyway. Remember, you don't have to. And if you don't authorize us, we won't use it. Okay, but you would click this box if you or I authorize you to use this testimony information in marketing materials. What we might also ask is, you know, you click one that applies and we'll put a second one that says, I do not authorize you to use this testimonial information in marketing materials. So we may, all right, include a second box because we want you to be clear as to what you're choosing. All right, so this is an example here, these buttons here. If you want to print your form out after you've completed it, you can print it. If you need to save it and come back and finish it later, you can click save. If you want to start completely over, click on where it says clear form and it will clear everything out. But if you feel that you're ready, the form has been completed, you need to click the submit form. You'll get a message afterwards letting you know that you'll be Someone will be in touch with you within 24 to 48 hours from the support team, all right? And for those of you who are Spanish, you read and you kind of interact better with Spanish. If you come up here to the top right corner, you see this English button, you click English and you can turn this to Spanish, all right? And all of this inside of the form will turn for the most part to Spanish. Okay, it will turn into Spanish if it can convert it. <laughs> Some of this, it was not able to convert because it was customized. So we would need to go back in and we would need to click on making sure that all of those customized, those customized areas are available in Spanish as well. So just letting you know some of these elements, this is an example of a testimonial form. Good evening, Miss Lisa Chani. Welcome aboard. So I just wanted to show you all an example of how the ILE company has been able to start to gather testimonials. So I'm going to stop sharing again. We're going to go back to our PowerPoint. So let me go back and share. Perfecto. There we go. <laughs> all right. And so again, if you have not been able to do so, I would like and I would appreciate if you go to the if you go to iLeadCompany.com forward slash testimonials and you would submit a testimonial sharing your experience of working with me, listening into a live stream or being a part of a mini class or coaching program, feel free to go and submit a testimonial. But I want to keep this moving. And so I want to share with you how to leverage online reviews. So let's talk about it for a moment. How would you be able to leverage online reviews? Well, number one, you can encourage reviews. You can, you know, with encouraging reviews, you can ask, okay? You can ask customers to leave reviews on platforms like Google, Yelp, or even Facebook. Facebook also allows you to leave reviews depending on what it is that, you know, you have available, what apps you have available, on the Facebook platform, you can actually ask people to submit reviews right on the platform. Also, you can, you know, encourage them, listen, leverage online reviews by responding promptly. Responding promptly. 
you know, engage with all reviews, positive or negative, to show that you value feedback. You value it. It's all about how you express your value for the information, whether it's a very positive one or not so positive one. And then highlighting positive reviews. You know, you want to feature top reviews on your website. So people who, for example, when you submit reviews for the Eiley company, if it's a great review, of course, we put it on our marketing material, we put it on our website, we put it everywhere, right? Everywhere. So that brings more influence for you as well. People can visit your website as a result and so much more. And so online reviews provide social proof that potential customers can trust. So it helps other people to know, you know what? I'm going to give this my all. I'm going to definitely, definitely give this a try because other people have. So creating case studies. Let's talk about that for a moment. Creating case studies. So you can definitely create compelling case studies and you can do this by Number one, identifying success stories. Okay, so find customers or team members with significant achievements, like some serious change, okay? They, I mean, it was really life-changing for them. It was really, it changed their mindset about something in a huge way. It was life-changing. And then also maybe, you know, detail the journey, okay? Detail the journey. You can include challenges faced solutions provided and results achieved. Sort of like what I showed you um, on the Ivy company with our form. And then use some visuals, you know, incorporate before and after photos. For those of you who are in the health and wellness space, there's nothing better than having a before picture and then an after picture to show perhaps the weight that has been lost, your body transformation. You could also use charts and even graphs to illustrate success. You see, case studies provide detailed examples of how your product or service has made a difference. So let's talk about using social proof on social media. Okay, so when it comes to social media, you can utilize the social proof by sharing testimonials. You can post the testimonials and reviews on social media platforms as long as you get their consent. Now, if you don't have their consent, it, that's not a good idea. Okay, you definitely need to get people's consent before you go sharing it all over the world. And then also, you definitely want to show engagement. Okay. So like, share, and comment on posts to build a community, okay? Build a community around what you're doing. And then highlight user-generated content, user-generated content. So share content created by customers and team members, okay? Share content created by your customers and team members, and just know that social media does amplify your reach. It helps you reach more people and it enhances your credibility. It really does. So this last piece here, before we go into, I think we've got two more slides and then we're gonna be done for today. Endorsements, endorsements and influencers. I have to touch on this a bit because you can leverage your involvement. You can leverage endorsements and influencers by number one, you can identify influencers. You wanna do that. You wanna find influencers or industry leaders who align with your brand. Who is in alignment with what your brand and what you're doing in that space? So if it's a network marketing, for example, I did a collaboration with Matt Morris, who is a, who's been in part of network marketing for years for years, for decades, really. And so that's a that's an influencer. And so I aligned my brand, Leadership TKO, with an influencer like Matt Morris, who is like a seven, eight figure earner, okay? In the network marketing space. Also, you wanna build relationships. You wanna engage with them and build authentic 
relationships. And then lastly, you, you can also do this. You can request endorsements. You can ask for endorsements or collaborations to boost credibility. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you let them know up front what your intentions are. How can you help them? How can you create a win-win situation for both you and that other influencer? So just know, everybody, that endorsements from respected figures can significantly enhance your reputation. It can. And so let's talk about implementing social proof. Where do you put it? Where do you put it? I think we touched on this a little bit, but you can implement your social proof. You can actually put it on your website. So you can display it on your website. I know for the iLead company, if you go to iLeadCompany.com, everyone, go to iLeadCompany.com and look at the bottom of the page. There is a section where I have scrolling testimonials. That's where many of your testimonials will go, right on the front there. Now, for some of you, we have we had a long-lasting relationship, so I may put some of your testimonials on my personal website, my Lakeisha McKnight website as well, because we've had a longer relationship. So I will put it in different areas so that you can get traffic back to your own websites, okay? So again, displaying them on your website. Number two, incorporating into marketing materials incorporating it into marketing materials. So you can include social proof inside of brochures for those of you who still use them. I personally don't use brochures as often. Uh, okay, so you can use it in emails because listen, it's nothing greater than a email. And then at the bottom of your email, you got some testimonials of people who enjoyed working with you or getting your, your products. And then also ads as well. There are different websites where you can actually put up an ad and you can show testimonials in your ads. And then another, the final way I'm going to talk about using self, social proof is in your presentations. So you can use social proof in presentations and pitches to prospects. Okay, so if you're doing a sales presentation, like a sales PPT, PowerPoint presentation, Throughout the presentation, you can put in some testimonials of people who work with you. So just know that consistently using social proof across all your channels reinforces your credibility. It does in a huge way. So as we recap, in conclusion, leveraging social proof is crucial for building trust and credibility in network marketing. Now, you can start gathering. This is what I'm encouraging you to do. This is your action. This is your homework for those of you who want to implement what I'm sharing with you. Start gathering testimonials, encouraging reviews. So you want to encourage people to do reviews of your product. Create case studies and utilize social media. Okay? So, but here's the thing. To learn more about leveraging social proof and other network marketing strategies, I'm gonna encourage you to come with me to join and link arms with me a part of Leadership TKO's Champions Corner. This is a free community. Type in the word free in the chat. This is free. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be watching on YouTube. You can be watching there through, so, through Facebook. This is a free community off of Facebook because it's on Telegram. It's a community of leaders on Telegram who desire to network beyond the Facebook platform. So here are some of the benefits that you're going to gain from joining the Champions Corner on Telegram. So for those of you who do want to link arms with us off of Telegram, in the chat there, I want you to type in the letters T-K-O. Type T-K-O in the chat below, and I'll be glad to give you the link, and you'll be able to join me and many others who are a part or on or in, I should say, in the Champions Corner community. All right, so go ahead and type that in. But listen, I just want to say thank you for those of you, number one, who stayed until the very end of this live stream or this video if you're on YouTube. Thank you again for those of you who liked this video or loved it, 
right? And for those of you who put a comment throughout this, this conversation, you've commented, you've commented. Thank you so very much for that. You shared this out. I appreciate you. If you've hit the subscribe button on YouTube, you are a rock star. And I appreciate you for doing that as well. Now, don't forget, you can still go ahead and you can submit a testimonial regarding the iLead company, the, regarding your, your affiliation with me. And I will well appreciate it. I, you know, the support team will be in touch with you just to let you know what the next steps are or to let you know where the testimonial is going to be placed. But listen, we appreciate each and every one of you. And before we get out of here tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to end with prayer and then we're going to close up. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for every ear, every eye that has been tuning into this entire conversation today. Lord, thank you for those who have submitted or will plan on submitting a testimonial regarding services that I've provided for the company overall, the iLead company. And so, Father, I'm asking that your blessing, your hand will be upon their lives, upon their businesses, that you would cause everything you have placed in their hands to prosper. And so, Lord, thank you for allowing us to leverage social media to connect in this way. And I just ask that you will continue to be glorified in all that we say, do, and think. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So with that being said, thank you so very much, everyone, for tuning in. Until next time, I'm encouraging you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Good night and God bless.